So today, on this this series, the uh, Twelve Days of Dumbass, um, I didn't plan on doing this, but uh, well, I wasn't really gonna plan on doing this because I was doing another 12 Days of Christmas video and then the Wednesday storm happened so I wouldn't be able to do it because a certain uh, door was broken. And uh, now it's Saturday at the time of recording and uh, about 10 dislikes so far so let me help with that. Because it's almost reaching the number of, of 18k and the reason I am disliking it now is because Turkey Tom made a video to them actually one was the pilot was the was by the new leaks which I just watched through that whole video the other day, and, uh... I already knew all along that I didn't find it amusing, and that it would backfire Tricky Tom by the time Power Circle responded. Because... Judging from Tricky Tom, and... And, uh, Ivory, and he so he believed, it wasn't looking too good. And I can tell you from this experience that... Dirty Tom... has made a horrible lapse in his judgment. And the fact that he did make a horrible lapse in his judgment speaks volumes. And I'm expecting to come back to this video again in the next few hours when it goes past 18k likes, which I'm hoping by the time you see this, you'll go and dislike on the video. Because, uh, Prime Rhapsodical himself came out with a response. Right after Tricky Tom, of course, tweeted out this document on his Twitter page. Which I'll go to it now. He tweeted this video, this uh, document that was supposed to quote unquote prove Parasuncle's guilt. And I can tell you, it's basically the opposite. From far from that. And now, Turkey Tom. is getting the treatment. Some of these messages, of course, are from early on. But recently, he has been uh, in a controversial moment.
And you know, it's basically in the fact that he's now getting shit for it. This is a tweet from December 16, which was 10 days earlier. And yeah, lots of people have uh, come after Turkey Tom. Because, of course, again, he has made a severe and continuous lapse in his judgment. Which is not really that much of a meme anymore, if you think about it. It's really supposed to be sincere. It's not really supposed to be a meme anymore. Because, well, when this comes up, then you know you are in the wrong. And you must own up to it. I mean, this video, yeah, it's only tweeted from, from the last couple of days ago. Truly, in that time, his innocent and ivory isn't as much. Which, I highly believed it. I highly believed that Parasite was actually... innocent. The only thing he did wrong, of course, was to never, was that he never asked Ivory his age. And that's the only big factor. Everything else, of course, it's false. And I'm so surprised that Turkey Tom is going to be on this list now. It's just really disappointing. Nat Turkey Tom is just not really doing good in in that type of sense. This person says, after all this, no wonder my pyro stopped doing funny haha commentary. I was gonna ask when you are gonna make a response, but I expected too much from you. Yeah. I expected too much from him too. And these people and these people keep uh doing a copy paste meme, I guess. I know if it's originally from the Michael Jack Jackson song, but it might be. I think it might be. I mean, a lot of people have ratioed Turkey Tom because all he had to do was to D D frame to uh frame my primary so cool and uh I don't think he understood that Ivory Rasmus did not have crucial evidence whatsoever. And had Ivory gotten crucial evidence, then Turkey Tom wouldn't be wouldn't have been getting all of this backlash right now. It's kind of bittersweet that someone else. Uh, gets the treatment that Pyro could get two weeks ago. Judging from the document of uh, Turkey Tom, it 
it's quite obvious that that this document proved proved Pyro's point and the fact that Turkey Tom they claimed that Pyro Cynical would have seen it. That he was fifteen over and over and over again would be untrue. Because of course to Pyro Cynical he has not, nor has he ever looked on his Twitter during his uh, holiday break from social media and until the day he was suspended. sure that I didn't know he was 15, how would I have missed this? This is something I said in my original Reddit statement. He never once disclosed the fact that he was 15 at the time these exchanges commenced. He didn't include his age in his bio until he was 16, but I was not on Twitter between the 28th of December 2016 until the 29th of June 2017, as I was suspended. It would have been a hell of a lot less likely for me to see all but one of these tweets that's been used as evidence in this Google Doc. My Reddit... And that's... And that's the thing here. When Turkey Tom... Put... Putting that together. <clears throat> I mean, had Cairo Cynical actually seen that he was 15, he would have followed him, but he doesn't follow people like that. I mean, if he's seen the tweet on December 16th, 2016, which is highly unlikely. Then I re would have added Pyro, but he didn't. So it was only a matter of time until until Pyro Cynical returned to Twitter to knowing that he was suspended. Reddit post clearly shows that I was suspended from Twitter at the time that they were made. And that of course leaves the very last one. But like, what are the chances of you catching one specific tweet when you follow hundreds of people? I brought this up in my Reddit post as well, but it's been deliberately left out as some like shit attempt at manipulation. I find it funny, like they're acting like I'm hiding something when ironically that's exactly what they're doing here. Literally all, all they needed to do was read my Reddit post. It, it's not even that long, man. It's a page. The next two points the doc makes are so interchangeable, I'm just gonna tackle both at once. Pyrocynical never saw shown here and in my original video it is ext extremely unlikely that pyrocynical did not know ivory's age and it is very likely that he lied about it after the fact i personally went into the situation under the impression that ivory had lied pyrocynical 
did not even see Ivory Sage. And the fact that he made a clear response. To the document shows that Pyrus Sinaka wasn't lying when he clearly stated that he hasn't seen any tweets that he mentioned his age multiple times. Because he wasn't on Twitter during during after Christmas and and around the summertime. That is the reason behind it. However, once analyzing the evidence, there is no other conclusion that I can reach other than that pyrocynical is full of shit. Literally, and metaphorically. The evidence really speaks for itself. Ivory Rasmus did not lie, and Pyro has no verifiable contradictory evidence thus far. And the real shock here, the real disgusting aspect, Uh-huh. Listen, Ivory was the one who lied here. Pyro Although, once again, admitted already that he didn't verify his ask him about to, to uh, verify his age doesn't excuse the fact that the other evidence that you put out, Turkey Tom, is completely fabricated. just what Pyrocynical did initially. It's the cover-up and the deception. In his response, he unironically used the the victim wanted an excuse to justify his conversations with a minor. His girlfriend did the same exact thing in the messages she sent to Ivory. If he had simply apologized to Ivory for doing this 10 years ago, and apologized on a whole for talking like this to so many people when he shouldn't have, maybe this would have been avoidable. Maybe my video wouldn't have even existed. But as Pyrocynical's own girlfriend stated, Yes, it wouldn't have existed. Because if it didn't exist, he wouldn't made a my response video to your dumbass poorly written document. Saw the initial DM from Ivory saying he was a minor. Parasynical never saw the DM where Ivory sent him his Twitter profile clearly stating his age. The next part really confuses me because now the claim is because he linked his Twitter, which had his age in his bio. I now retroactively know that when this message or that message was sent, I knew he was 15. What? When Ivory linked me his Twitter profile, the age in bio says 16. This is something I acknowledged in my Reddit post, but to be fair, I probably didn't elaborate enough on it. In retrospect, I never should have continued the furry stuff with him once I learned of his age, even though at the time, I didn't see it as a problem. Legally, age of consent is 16 in both my country and his state. I didn't consider the age gap significant enough because what we were talking about and doing was so far removed from actual sex. It literally was just fantasy furry garbage because I didn't consider Ivory sexual in any way in person. I never had a plan to progress our friendship into something more and I never considered it an issue. I understand though that, you know, this is gonna be one of those weird gray areas where people are gonna agree or disagree. I think it's a combination of all of these variables coming together, which led me to believe at the time there was nothing wrong from a moral standpoint. As for the other message, He does that to everyone. And to further add to this pile and the implication that Pyro Syndicate did this for a lot of people, let's read one of the originally leaked DMs from Ivory's post. Just what Alex was saying to me today about me, it reminded me of all the roleplay stuff I used to do last year. Like, there's so many people I did it with, it's unreal. I don't even remember who and how many. It's that bad. If any of them suddenly don't like my content or for whatever reason, they can just out me and then everyone else will start coming forward. All it takes is one person and it's a shame. Here, Pyro is clearly afraid that some of the people he did this roleplay with 
are going to come out about it and says he did it with so many people we can't even remember. I'm willing to bet that Pyro was so depraved and lustful that he was willing to talk to just about anyone, regardless of their age. It's really disappointing for me to see as someone who is a fan of his content and has had pleasant interactions with him in the past, but I can't ignore this. It's really, really bad. I'll leave a link to the document in the description below if anyone wants to give it a read, as well as some of the videos talking about it. Thanks for watching. I've been Jerky Tom, and until next time, leave me alone. Hey, you know what? Judging from the, from the sub count. Which will pop up in a moment. We will leave Turkey Tom alone because people are going to keep on unsubbing as it progresses. And you know, it's not really looking good for Santa Claus. It's not really looking good for Santa Claus because Santa Claus... I mean, it's not really looking good for Turkey Tom because, well, this. And this. He dropped 1k yesterday, and he dropped 1k today. So that means on Sunday, tomorrow, he'll drop another 1k subs. There needs to be a middle ground. I did fuck up. There is no excuse, and I am sorry for that. But I am not a groomer or a predator, and documents like these only try to show one side and build a narrative that I'm a liar when I have never actually changed my story from my original post. My mistake, if anything, was not being clearer. I have never tried to hide anything. This document has managed to fool so many people. Like, you've got this person. They came to all my meet and greets, and they're dressed up as my character. The effort they went to was insane. But, thanks to this document, they've recently came out claiming that I was only nice to them because I had an ulterior motive. The document also tackles a tweet Ivory made where he says he hates me and I'm a leech. This was a copy pasta and it was like so easy to disprove. The majority of people found out as soon as you like copy pasted the actual tweet into the search bar. I didn't even think to mention this in my original statement because it was totally beside the point. I think it was included here as a way to make Ivory's claim seem more genuine without having to do any actual work. Why would you try so hard to debunk a claim 20 people complained about on Twitter, but yet ignore the fact that I provided exact dates of my Twitter suspension? Another argument Pyrocynical made lies in the idea that Ivory messaging Then the bogus document continues to read, this may be a little harder, harder to mail down. Why wouldn't I re <coughs> excuse me, be upset at this guy if he was so angry at Iris Senko? This becomes obvious when you read Iris original tweet mongers, where he says that the biggest reason for him putting all of this information out there is because Pyro has influenced and he be right. Pyro Cynical has for more than 4 million subscribers and is easily one of the most researched people in the community, commentary community. 
It is no surprise that people are so unwilling to believe these allegations. Most people don't even seem to watch videos about the people passing judgment. After YouTube Roblox put out a video including evidence that mostly supported Ivory, this comes with the many people claiming that he or unquote made it made it all up. And here we have our the comments that says that he was cloud chasing and all that. And uh, whatever you're gonna say, people are still gonna believe that he's a cloud chaser because, well, if you checked his Twitter lately, he got all the likes and retweets. And that was just from his first response about Pyro. He got a lot of that. That's why he's called a cloud chaser. As I have shown in this document, this is hardly the case. At this point, you have to, you have to be willfully ignorant or actually be well, mentally disabled to believe that Pyrocynical is innocent. And if that is not enough to prove to you that Ivory is not a cloud chaser, let's say that his intention is some nor noriety for this. Not noble in any way, sure. But does that really matter? If the allegations against Pounder are true and Iroh did know his age and lied about it after the attack, do his attentions somehow completely ruin the reality of the allegations? Are you so hung up on the idea, this idea, that you will not put forth the effort to condemn someone who did something disarmingly more harmful? I don't know about you, but I have much more hatred for someone exhibiting predatory behavior than I do for someone who wants Twitter likes. I'll let you make that choice yourself. So basically, Turkey Tom repeat, repeated his statement in the video by reading the entire Google document.